After we made the path that loops around the track, the next thing we're gonna need is the AI that controls the vehicle to drive through the loop. If you have a input manager that works something like this, we're gonna need a bunch of new inputs and variables. First thing we're gonna need is a reference to this path. Now we could just make a new slot and drag and drop it from here, but we have if we have another vehicle selected other than this one it will not attach to this uh, path the workaround for that is using tags so i'm gonna add in a new tag and i'm gonna call it the path now using that tag we can reference uh, we can reference this script via using tag so let's tag this game object into the path next thing is create a reference in here let's make it public for now track waypoints and waypoints in our awake function in our awake function, we're going to initialize these waypoints to attach to this game object. So we're going to do waypoints is equal to game object dot find with tag. We're going to write in our tag as path dot get component waypoints. Now this should attach to our other script. Okay. Yes, it attaches to our waypoint script. Now we're going to need a new function to calculate the distance between the vehicle and the game object. So let's build a new function. Okay, so I'm calling it calculate distance of waypoints. To calculate the distance, first we're going to need a list of nodes. So you might have guessed it, we're going to get the nodes from our track waypoint. So we're going to say public list of transforms nodes is equal to new list of transforms. Okay, so in your awake function, we're going to need the nodes from our track waypoints. So importing that is as simple as saying nodes is equal to waypoints dot nodes. Save and let's see if it works. Okay, in our input manager, we have each and every node in the list. Okay, so once you get your nodes from the track waypoints script, we're going to execute this other uh, method. We want to calculate the distance between the driver and the nearest uh, node. To do that, first, you're going to need the position of the current game object. So say vector3 position is equal to game object dot transform dot position. Okay, this gets the current position of our vehicle. Next thing, we want a float distance, which is equal to mathf dot infinity. Next, we're going to need a for loop that goes through the node count. So basically, it loops through all the nodes that are in the list. Inside the for loop, we want to do some checks. So we want to calculate vector3 difference, which is equal to current node. So node in the index of i dot transform dot position minus the position next we want the current distance so float cur distance difference dot magnitude and then we want to do the check if the current distance is less than distance if that is true we want to declare a current waypoint so up here just declare a public transform current waypoint now we want to set the current waypoint to the one that is found in this loop so current waypoint is equal to the node i plus the diff the distance offset and then distance is equal to current distance one more thing i want to do is add in a gizmos so on draw gizmos draw gizmos dot draw a wire sphere current waypoint and the size of three and one more thing i want to change is that i want to change this on draw gizmos to on draw gizmo selected so this appears only when we select it hit play and now we have a sphere which appears to the closest position now let's set the distance offset okay so now it always is in front of us next thing is to apply the steer to that very node 
to apply the steer according to the current waypoint, we're going to need a vector 3. We're, we're going to call it relative. That is equal to transform dot inverse from direction. And inside, we're going to pass in transform dot inverse from point. And inside, we're going to pass in the current waypoint dot transform dot position. Next, we're going to divide the relative vector. So relative is slash equal to relative dot magnitude. Now, since the horizontal input only inputs the x axis, we want the horizontal to be equal to relative dot x slash relative dot magnitude. And this is the amount of steer you want for the AI to steer. So we're not going to hard code it. Instead, we're going to declare a new range, a public float this time, and we're going to call it steer force. And we're going to vary it from 0 to 5. And we're going to pass it right here. Hit save. Once you write this code, you want this AI steer to be executed into the AI drive. And then the AI drive is obviously the drive type for the AI. So passing the AI into the, the case driver.ai. Hit save and go to your Unity. Don't forget in your AI drive to set the vertical to 0.3 or whatever you want the acceleration to be. Okay, so once you hit play, you want the distance offset first, and then the steer force to like one. Next thing you want to do is change the drive controller into the AI. So right now, I'm not pressing any button. The AI is driving itself and it's steering. Now we can set the distance of this waypoint obviously, to however far we want it. So I found like five works perfectly for me. And then we want to vary the steer force to something that we like. So it shouldn't be too aggressive. And it also shouldn't be too smooth. 